Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope it's fantastic. Everything here is great, despite yesterday. Yesterday was fine. Nothing happened yesterday. But, I, but yesterday is a good example. When I talked last week about script writing and why I don't do it and that sort of stuff, yesterday is a good example of why I should, why I should at least take bullet notes because there was more to the story of helping that lady. And it's not necessarily about that lady, but that day, so I came home, I told the story, that sort of stuff uh, to M. And then that evening, it was really nice out, and we decided to go sit on the front porch and build some Legos and read. I was reading mostly and building Legos. And so, you know, we've got this front porch furniture, so we're trying to use it and be, you know, I've lived here now 10 years, and I barely know any of my neighbors because I've never really been an outside high neighbor kind of person, but I do know the neighbor across the street. She was the second person to move into the neighborhood, and we met back then. And, and you know, I've, I offered at that time to help her, whatever. Point is, we're sitting out there. She's doing something to her shed. And Em goes, I think she's trying to drill the shed out, the lock on the shed out. I eventually stands up, we say hi. And she goes, uh, you don't know how to pick locks, do you? And I was like, yeah, actually I do. And she's like, are you serious? And I, so I was like, yeah, let me get my picks or whatever. And I go inside and so... She asks him if I was serious, and I was like, "Oh yeah, it's one of his hobbies." <laughs> yeah. So, um, the so you know, I went and helped her uh, with with her problem. Uh, I was not able to pick that lock because she had drilled it to the point that it was busted. But I did get to help, so it was a double dose of helping. Now, yesterday, Fourth of July, all that sort of stuff. Um, I bought fireworks. I have usually buy fireworks, but for most of my life, the only fireworks that have been legal here in West Virginia are like the little things that go, pss, 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 and that's all they do. But like five years ago, or maybe maybe a little bit longer, or maybe a little less, I don't know, um, West Virginia lifted the fireworks ban. When I was a kid, getting cool fireworks was like a big deal. There was fireworks like... Uh, stores, giant firework stores on the border of Ohio because they were legal in Ohio. People would go over there and buy them and bring them back. And, you know. <clears throat> and so I've just never let off the bigger, like, sky-bursting fireworks until this year. Uh, my kids, my, my kid, my oldest was like, hey, we should do fireworks. And I was like, okay. And then she was like, are you serious? I said, yeah, you know, take me to the tent. Uh, around here, we don't have fireworks stores, but... Every 4th of July, you know, New Year's, uh, maybe even like, uh, there's a couple other times. I guess, I don't know when the other times are, but those two for sure, people set up these tents and they sell fireworks in these tents, like in parking lots at grocery stores or whatever. So I went to the store, I bought $70 worth of fireworks, and we set them off. I bought a couple of the like mortar where you put the ball down in, you light it, and it goes up and booms and all that stuff. I bought some things that zoom around on the ground. I bought some other, <coughs> other things that were supposed to <coughs> like make flaming parachutes that fall down. None of those worked. But the point of all that is, I'm in my driveway. I'm reading the instructions on these things because I, I have seen people set them off, but I've never done it myself. And I and I'm like, I don't. I felt wrong, right? So the, the fireworks say, you know, make sure there's 40 feet around the base of the, so the thing can explode and, not, you know, everything lands safely and all that sort of stuff. And so I'm in my driveway. And on top of that, I, li I don't live in the city limits. The city limits are like that way, like a couple hundred yards that way. So I don't live in the city limits, which means it's, I can legally light fireworks basically whenever I want. Now, I think we might have some HOA rules against it, but whatever, uh, you know, in the city, it's 10 to 10, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., uh, except for on New Year's. But the whole point is, I'm at the end of my driveway, I'm setting this tube up, I'm putting a thing in it, I'm lighting it, I'm running, shabang, shaboom, sparkles, yay. And the entire time I'm doing this, I felt like I was just 
breaking the law, I was going to get in trouble, the cops were going to come, the neighbors were going to yell at me, <laughs> you know, something, something bad was going to happen. Like, the entire time, because this fear was kind of beaten into me as a child, I was just absolutely positive that it, the night was not going to end well, and I felt so freaking wrong. And I still feel that way about a lot of things. Like, when I miss a day of work, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Like, oh my god, you can't miss, you know, because that's what I was taught in school. That's what I was taught by my father, who never missed a day of work. Like, you can't do that. You'll get fired. No, it's okay. And I was doing nothing wrong. And the same neighbor came out at one point just to see what was going on. And I told her, like, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. And she's like, why? It's fine. Like, just don't hit our houses. I'm like, yeah, I'm not hitting houses. They're going straight up. You know, whatever. And, and it was okay. But it still felt wrong. Uh, and, and just, I don't know different but how about you did you do anything exciting for the fourth did you um get to spend time with friends and family and do anything special uh i'd love to hear about all of that we were supposed to well we were going to go have lunch uh with em's brother but none of the places we normally go were open and we didn't feel like eating chain restaurant food so we just didn't um is what it is sit on the porch <coughs> You know, enjoy ourselves. That's that's uh, that's always great too, and that's probably what I'm gonna do tonight. So, thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends, wonderful people. I really appreciate you, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know to sound smart is misanthrope. It is a noun meaning a person of antisocial nature who dislikes other people and thinks poorly of them until they give him reason not to. Harold has become a veritable misanthrope since Annabelle refused to attend the regatta with him. Misanthrope. I M I S A N T H R O P E. I don't necessarily think I'm a misanthrope, but I do generally disregard others until I've gotten to know them. <laughs>